Now the foliar. If we compare that plant with the mesquite, what do you see is the major difference? It doesn't have the canopy or even the compact canopy that mesquite has. And so when Dr. Lyons, Bob, treated the mesquite a while ago, he went all the way around it using a minimum of herbicide and a minimum of effort. Correct? Okay. What is, how do we do this? First of all, first of all, I got this on the way up here and uh, it must have rained wherever he got that. It hadn't rained for six months where I got that one. So, is that a, can a candidate for foliar spraying? No. You really want as full and as vigorous a canopy and, and really bright, not bright, but uh, a green leaves. Okay? And, and of course, that's been in the back of my pickup for two days, too. So, uh, but you don't want to spray it when it's like that. But the, the, to point out that it does not have the canopy like mesquite does, and it's got much more longer, straggly type uh, uh, stems and uh, branches than mesquite. They're not all equal. You have to cover that just like you do these others. So it's going to take a little more time and it's going to take a little more effort and herbicide in order to get that coverage. Now, one thing about when in that we, um, through experience and through uh, many research trials and, and demonstrations and testimonials, it appears, and I'm gonna say it appears because we don't have the research on it. It appears that whenever this comes out in the spring and these leaves are, are are trying to uh, grow, they are so lacy and so delicate that many times when we spray it in the springtime that they just tend to, we talked earlier about falling off too soon and not enough is taken into the branch before they start defoliating. So we have found that and what we generally recommend is that the best time to spray we satch is in the fall of the year. And one thing, that another thing Dr. Lyons have discussed and came to the conclusion that your, the, the effectiveness is really depends on soil moisture. We found that if, the, if there's good soil moisture and the plant is growing good, we're gonna have a, a better chance at control than say under dry conditions. It doesn't have that root system and water gathering mechanism that mesquite does. Okay, so fall of the year. Um, you apply it with the same equipment. Leaf spray uses what kind of nozzle? Six or eight. A larger so that you can uh, get that fan and uh, get that coverage, okay? The other one is a, more of a pencil that you want to get down on that stem, okay? X, six, eight, something like that. Okay, uh, and then you need to get the coverage that we've all talked about. So uh, see if I can do this without getting blue. <laughs> all right, do the same way. Try to get as good a coverage as you can on both sides, all the way. It becomes apparent right quick that if you missed any of it. And then, then you can go on to the next one. All right. Any questions about WESAGE? Anybody? The same principles hold with this species as with the others. The difference is timing in the fall and using P plus D. 
as we go into the, the foliar. Okay? I, I forgot to mention that. Uh, we do we do need the P plus D, the Grazon P plus D, in order to, to uh, do the job on, on uh, Wesatch. Uh, 1% at 1%. Any questions?